consecration. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 12 and 13 and verses 19 to 20. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Foods for the stomach and stomach for foods, but God will destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for sexual immorality, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God and you are not your own? For you were bought at a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. As we continue this journey in, in learning about overcoming addictions, an important key that the Bible teaches us is consecration. That means I recognize that my body and my appetites and my desires, that they should be consecrated to God. Now, there's nothing wrong, as Paul says, you know, there are things that may be lawful, things like eating food, uh, and food for the stomach, and stomach for the food, all right? All of these things are fine, but everything must be consecrated to God. And, and we must live with what verses 19 and 20 point out, that we understand that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. That means the Spirit of God Himself is dwelling in us. And therefore, He says, you are not your own. That means this body now becomes consecrated to God. It, it says, God, this is, I say, God, this, my body belongs to you. It's not, it's therefore I no longer do with my body what I desire, but I choose to do with my body what pleases God. Therefore, he tells us in verse 20, he says, you know, I want you to remember you've been bought with a price. That means Jesus Christ died so that he purchased us to God. He says, you've been bought with a price. Therefore, let God be glorified in your body and in your spirit, which are God's, which belong to God. So we must come to this place where we say, God, I consecrate every part of me, my mind, my emotions, my appetites, my desires, my body, my actions, my deeds, everything, my whole being, Lord, I consecrate to you. I yield, as Paul writes in Romans chapter 6, I yield my body as an instrument of righteousness, and I refuse to yield it as an instrument of unrighteousness. That's consecration. That's saying, God, my whole being belongs to you. I surrender it to you, and I'm going to live from that understanding. I'm going to live from that point of view that I belong to God. My whole body belongs to God. The Holy Spirit dwells in me. I am not my own. I've been bought with a price. My whole being belongs to God. Therefore, my one priority is to glorify God in my body. This is very important as we progress towards overcoming things that enslave us, saying this body belongs to God, sin will not have dominion over me, and this body is yielded to righteousness. Let's pray and consecrate our entire being to the Lord. Father, we thank you that you are for the body, our body is for you, Lord. And we consecrate every part of us, ourselves, to you. Our body belongs to you. Our mind belongs to you. Our emotions, desires, and appetites are consecrated to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.